Hey, have a quick video for you today. It's about hashes. Specifically, you are going to learn how to find out if a value or a key is included in a hash. So I'm going to open Pry, which is like ERE if you're not familiar with it. I'm just going to create a very simple hash with two key and values, right? So let's do apple, apple uh, 100, orange 100. And then let's say that we want to find out if the value 100 is in there. Well, you can do value question mark like this, then you do 100, right? That's how you can do that. You can also do key question mark, and this way more common than the value. And we can do is orange in there, it is right. And you can even do this, which is to find out the key that is associated for a given value, and to do that you do it like this instead of key question mark which returns true or false you can get key without the question mark and then if there is an associated key you get it now the reason i say that these are not these value based methods like value question mark and key to find the, the actual key if there is one these are not very they are not used very often because the point of the hash is to use the keys, right? So to access it by key. And of course, you do it like this, and then you get the value. Why? Because of the characteristics of the hash, it's a lot faster to access it through the key than looking for the values. Okay, and to understand that more, we have to get into computer science concepts like time complexity and algorithms and things like that. But yeah, if you're using a hash, most of the time you want to be using it through the keys. But I understand that there might be uh, some situation where you might need to work with the values or get the key through the value. And then in that case, you can use these two methods. And one more thing, if you need the hash both ways, like this and the inverse of that, so like this, you can use invert. This is what I mean by the hash both ways or in reverse. In here, we're reversing the keys to be the values. So now 100 is the key and 200 is the key. So if you need, if you need both, then you can use this invert method and then you can get access to these values as the keys and get the benefits of using the hash data structure and its performance benefits of doing it this way. Now, this will only be helpful if your hash doesn't have to be changing all of the time, right? If you have like a fixed hash or hash that doesn't change very often, use invert after changing the hash, and then you can get the, the hash both in this format and this other format, okay? So that's just a quick review of hashes and basic access methods. Remember, most of the time you want to use the hash to get the most effective use of the hash, use keys, access the hash through the keys. So we look at the value question mark method, which doesn't do that because it looks, it has to look for all of the values to find this specific value. 
Now this one access by key ask if the key exists or not, which is very fast operation in relation to this. And then we look at the key without the question mark. And the only difference is that they do the, the difference that they do different things. So this returns true or false. This gives you a key. And this is how you normally access a hash through the key. So that's it. If you like this video, make sure to click the like button for me so I know that you like it. If you want to keep learning, watch more of my videos now. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And visit my website, rubyguides.com. rubyguides.com. In there you will find many tutorials to help you keep improving your Ruby skills. Thanks a lot for watching. I will see you in the next video.